Hi, I'm Chris Wiegand. And I'm Casey Wiegand. I'm a filmmaker. And I'm a wife, mom, and blogger. We spent the last seven years remodeling our last house. We just moved to this new house and a new space, so we have a ton of projects to do. So come along with us as we tackle this project on this episode of Weekends with the Wiegands. <laughs> So I met Casey in 2005. We got engaged in 2006. Married in 2007. Aiden came in 2009. Ainsley in 2010. And Apple in 2012. For this project, we're gonna build a new chicken coop. At our last house, we had a small backyard and we only had two little baby chicks. So I built a little coop, kind of looked like this, and this, and this. So every good project starts out with some plans. I'm drawing a chicken coop and I'm not done yet. Is that the chicken coop? Yeah. That's going with it. I'm drawing chicken. I always like to leave room to be able to adjust as you go along, but you kind of need to know that this is our dimensions, this is our size, this is our height. You want to make sure that whatever elements you want to use, like we're using a door and windows, that you want to measure those first. <laughs> Where's the egg? I designed this coop to be six feet by eight feet. And eight feet is always a really good number when you're building things because plywood comes in sheets of four by eight. Coloring in our design. Uh -huh. So that's our chicken coop, what we're going to build. This is my design. This is my dad's design, and he told me to color it in. Okay? All right, let's go build our coop. Okay. A chicken coop. So I love to repurpose building materials. We salvaged a door from a teardown house and a couple of windows, had some old rope from another project, and we're using a lot of shiplap that's from the inside of old homes that are being torn down. It's a way to save a lot on your project budget. So what's happened so far? All right, so far we built the framing for the base and put the deck on. And now we're working on the walls and just leaning the walls up. And we're leaving openings for windows and things like that. Once we finish raising all the walls, then we'll start putting some of the, some of the skin on to help hold it together. Hey, Dad. Dad, today we, we learned about misery. What'd you learn? Misery. What about it? Like, like this is the same thing as this. What did Daddy put on? A door for a chicken coop. Mom, I eat outside. Oh. Right, camera. Hi, I'm Aiden. I'm going to teach you how to do a power tool. First, you need to put that in here and... I think having kids involved in your project is always a really good idea. Ours always like to just be around. Of course, we don't do anything dangerous with them. I don't let them operate saws or anything, but I will let them try to screw in a screw or whatever with power tools but I'm there making sure I supervise all that but it's little things like letting them draw letting them measure for us or handing us a two by four they want to be a part of it we both work from home so we're used to them being around and involved in what we're doing all the time so it really fits right in and sometimes the girls will just pull up a chair and kind of sit back and watch me work which always makes me feel good um, to have <laughs> a little audience <laughs> side 
side of the chicken coop, and this is where the chickens are going to come out into their little playpen. We're going to have a little door that opens and it'll slide up and slide down like that, okay? okay? Our chicken coop is too big to fit in the driveway or put on a trailer, so I built ours so that we could take it all apart if we ever decide to move. We just unscrew everything, it'll take half a day, and then take a couple of days to put it all back together, but at least you have it and you don't have to tear the whole thing down. If you use nails, you're probably going to have to use a reciprocating saw to cut the whole thing up. This is a trash pile. So as soon as you can, go ahead and paint the interior of your chicken coop. That way, whenever you put the screws in, you're not going to have to roll over the screws that are coming through the siding. Okay, you guys ready to paint? Yes. Yes. That looks like a lake. Because, because, because it looks like a swimming pool guys paint. So we try to make it a team effort. You know, I'll do a lot of things that I know how to do, and Casey will take over and do a lot of things that she knows how to do. And that way we're kind of working on projects that kind of fit both of our skill sets. That's the best thing ever. What are we doing? Painting on a Christmas house. <laughs> you mean chicken coop? Christmas house. <laughs> a Christmas house? Yes. So now I'm just taking these cedar shakes and I'm putting them on the base just to give this kind of a little apron all the way around the chicken coop. You working? Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? Say cheeseburger. What's this part? Oh, uh, this will be the little outside chicken play area. That was I built a little door that will. It'll go right here, and you'll be able to open it. You'll be able to open it like this. So that's what we're gonna do now. So now we're just putting the fake, fake moss in the fire boxes. Get in their coop. Coop. All right, here we go. Let's let them go. We're gonna put her up, okay? What happened? Some feet on me. <laughs> oh man. Let's get them. You get the brown one. I'm gonna get Chicky. Come here. Come here, baby Chicky. You wanna help me? Yeah. Okay, let's get her. Let's take her right there. Okay, okay. Carrie, are real sweet. Good girl. Most of the time when we're home, we let the chickens out so they can roam free in the backyard. But while we're gone, we wanted a space where they had a little bit more of an area to roam around and they're safe from anything that could get them. Yeah, 
This project actually took us four days to do. So this would be a project to do during a long weekend, or you just take two weekends to do it. What is it? Thanks so much for joining us for our first weekend project. In our next episode, we're going to take a big living and dining room area and we're going to split it by creating a wall with a sliding barn door. You don't want to miss it. Bye. Bye.